Um, how does it feel moving on to the first team this year and how did you find out that that would be happening? Uh, it feels fantastic. I uh, wanted to thank the club, first of all, for giving me the, the opportunity and thank the coaches for preparing me, but also thank my family for supporting me. And it was kind of, it was a process for sure, getting with T2, doing all the development things on and off the field that I needed to do to uh, start progressing in the right direction. I think the coaches helped a lot with that. And then at the end of the year, uh, we had kind of a staff and me meeting, kind of went through things one by one. And uh, they told me that I was going to be moving up. And it's one of the best days of my life so far. So I, w I just want to thank them, first of all, for that. And uh, hopefully many more good opportunities and good times to come. You um, were obviously in college before joining T2. How, how did that process come about, um, joining T2? And how do you feel like last season helped your development? Um, the process was actually an interesting one. I was at another club and uh, kind of didn't make it, so to speak, uh, and T2 kind of took me in their arms and uh, welcomed me. The whole club welcomed me, the fans also, the city. It was fantastic. Everybody's been great to me so far, and I think going forward, I'd like to reciprocate that. Which, uh, which club did you maybe not make it at, and how did maybe that motivate you to, you know, make it here with Portland? I was at uh, New York with the Red Bulls, and they were actually fantastic to me also. All the players, the staff, it was great. It just didn't uh, quite work out. But every time you have uh, sort of a setback, uh, it motivates you for sure. For me, uh, just kind of being undersized and having that stigma attached to me, I feel like I've had to fight for everything, and I've had to have this giant chip on my shoulder. Not that other players don't, but I think that's one of the things that is kind of a staple for me. And I think that no matter what, it's not going anywhere, but I think that was definitely a motivating factor for me uh, having a good year. How Now with the first team, obviously you're the third goal kidler. You'll probably you know get some playing time with T2 again this year, but how do you approach this opportunity knowing there's two guys ahead of you, but you also want to prove yourself and grow too? Uh, I think we have a fantastic group, not only the goalkeepers, but Aiden also. And uh, we have a really open kind of dialogue between uh, the four of us or the five of us. And I think they're going to help me, I'm going to help them. And just having kind of a, a good atmosphere around the group, everybody will improve. Everybody will start seeing the games that they want to see. And that's all you can really ask for. And then you just have to hope that everything falls in place. You mentioned kind of the chip on your shoulder um, because your height maybe has held you back or given it a stigma, but do you think that having that um, surrounding you has helped you work harder and, you know, become the shot starper you've been able to become? Uh, for sure. I think that uh, not only for me having to do extra just on the mental side of the game, I think that I've had a lot of really good uh, mentors from when I was younger with my goalkeeper coach, Macias Souza. He helped a ton up through the youth national teams, obviously. And then once I got here, I think everybody's really kind of bought in to getting me to where I want to be, but also getting me to a point where I'm just focused on soccer. I can tune everything out and I can get the results for the most part that uh, the club needs from me. But then even when I don't necessarily get the best results, they're supporting me, they're pushing me forward, and we're going forward, we're always moving forward. And I think that's a big thing for the club in general, just put what's in the past in the past, move forward. And if we do that consistently, I think we'll get to where we want to be towards the end of the season.